Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with uh, me, Matthias Weiss. We are still on our interplanetary mission, still in the assembling phase of our rocket. What we have here is our uh, fuel tank module. These two fuel tanks will be delivered to our orbiting interplanetary vessel which is just parked in a 100 kilometer orbit already attached is the lander in the front. Normally I would not show you the launch because it's uh, just plain stupid boring and everybody knows how a launch works but um, I've been asked lately how I managed to get into a rendezvous orbit with the MacJap functions and so I will uh, use this video just to bring my fuel tank unit into orbit and show you how I managed to do a rendezvous. Okay, you have what you have to keep in mind is you have actually to do two flights to get it to work. The first flight is a test flight where you just enter your orbit altitude you wish, like 100 kilometers in our case. Uh, to make it sure you can also use the rendezvous model switch to the interplanetary steering in our case and see yeah the orbit is pretty much 100 kilometer so that's your desired orbit you set everything up like you want it and just hit engage and start off at the end when you finish your circularization burn MacJab gives you stats and one stat is the important stat you get at the end is the launch phase angle LPA and this is used when you use the time launch to rendezvous button because then uh, you enter this LPA here and choose your target. The good thing is if you do a, if you do a test flight with your uh, with your rocket and you finish your circularization burn this launch phase angle will be automatically saved by MacJab for your next start so all you have to do is end flight and restart and MacJab already knows your LPA you need for a 100 kilometer orbit rendezvous so you choose your target and just hit engage and what MacJab does then is shows you how many seconds you have to wait until you will launch and it also warps for you so you don't have to do anything don't have to hit the key for launch because from now on it's just plain waiting autopilot uh, in two seconds it's gonna get loud Yeah, if everything goes right, this should bring us pretty close to our desired uh, orbit and of course pretty close to our desired rendezvous target. It's not perfect though, so you know, MacJab sometimes makes some steering errors etc and the ship gets out of control, so don't expect any wonders. But for me it worked pretty good actually and most times I end up in an orbit below four kilometers away from the desired target ship. Last time actually uh, I used this was for uh, adding a solar panel to my sadly now dismantled uh, Kerbal Space Station and it brought me into an orbit just 2.5 kilometers away from my desired target so that's pretty good that's a perfect distance to start your MacJab aided approach using the uh, smart ass functions 
point to target and uh, okay uh, just before the separation of our booster and this time everything worked I tried to record this oh yeah oh <laughs> yeah, earlier it collided with my main engine and just did not work as expected. Okay. Macjab is throttling down because we are at an apoapsis of almost 100 km and time for time warp. It's pretty cool that Macjab actually uses the uh, atmospheric time warp first time I ever saw that. Oh, we are out of atmosphere but our ship is under acceleration. Don't know why. Let's just try if we can flip that over. No. Magjab does not want to allow us to warp any faster. Anyways, as you see here, that's our current position but we are much slower, we have a 1200 meters per second and our uh, actual target is moving at yeah 1000 meters per second more than we so it will surely catch up until we get to the apoapsis. So yeah as I said I normally uh, I normally don't like to make tutorials or something like that because I'm just not good enough to to do that in a proper way but yeah I've been asked so many times during the last days and yeah thank you all guys for your interest in my channel it's uh, it's an honor for me that my my views boosted up uh, triple times just uh, in the last week so yeah you set me under a lot of pressure I have to <laughs> add content a little bit faster than I did before but I hope you still like it and yeah 50 kilometers away as you see our our target has a little bit of inclination so it won't be so good this time but at least it gives you an idea when to start Of course, MacJab is doing bogus here because he tries to keep the apoapsis at 100 km, which will not work. I promise you. This thing is so heavy with, with this thrust; it uh, generates just current thrust to weight ratio of about two. He should really accelerate. A little bit before he reaches apoapsis, even though apoapsis is the most fuel efficient way to do. Okay. That's basically all it takes. Okay, as you see here, we have 15 kilometers away, but as you see, it's an inclination of 1.184 degrees. It's really uh, not so super efficient. The closer it's to uh, to uh, zero, the better you are. Okay, just like just try to circulate right or orbit here a little bit before I finish this mission because our periaps is pretty low right now well, you know what I should probably do is just kill my rotation do 
the old docking trick. Switch to something far away because MacJap is dead. I don't know why I hate that. And switch back before we re-enter the atmosphere, which would not be good. Oh well, another lesson learned. Never leave a vessel while docking. Because now it doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> I will end this here. I will uh, get this ship back in orbit properly and uh, start from there for the next episode. I hope you get at least the idea how uh, to get close to the target you want. And even though this is a little bit of a fail right now, because yeah, I can't control the warp clamp anymore. Not a chance. I hope you still enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Matthias Weiss and have fun.